they, he's going to give me my, his paperwork and then I'll match the paperwork with the seal that's on the back of the truck. Got your papers. Okay. Matches. Want to clip it for us? Actually, the the markings for the bag are here on the paper. I'll check them against the marks on the bags. These bags are marked here. It shows. Next step is to uh, check the trailer for any, uh, any holes in the floor and the walls and the roof. So I'll do a quick check to see if I see anything uh, conspicuous, you know, that needs to be reported. So things look okay. The truck is not allowed to be running. The truck has to be turned off and we have to uh, retrieve the keys from the driver while we're unloading the truck. Now I'm going to put the information in the system that's on the bill of lading or the delivery order. So I will find this particular coffee type which is an 07 and within that coffee type I'll find the numbers of this part well of these coffee beans the, the part numbers that correspond it shows as outside uh, warehouse which makes it of course receivable the numbers for the or markings for the bags match the, the marks on the paperwork. Click OK. All of the receiving information that has been preloaded in the system by receiving managers uh, comes up. Fill in uh, the delivery order or bill of lading number, trailer number, seal number, the information that the truck driver brought in. The trailer number is 13. 479. The seal number 0888262. The number of bags being received 275. Uh, the empty bag weight is approximately 1.3 pounds. That's a standard that gets entered. And uh, The pallet weight, 1,518 pounds. When I hit save, it's now asking uh, for the pallet weight or empty pallets to, to be placed on the scale. Uh, empty pallets are already full in this case. So what I have to do is go to the scale and uh, acknowledge that question and once I acknowledge it, it will take me to the step where I will be ready to weigh loaded pallets as opposed to empty. So we'll. Again, when I hit save, the system comes up way empty pallets. Uh, it's just a preloaded uh, question or the next step. Since we're not weighing empty pallets, first of all, I'll zero scale. And it doesn't want air. Too small. OK, well, I'll, the middle button the inner button is the button that I would enter for the weight. 
Now, once I hit that, it says it went from weight empty pallets to weight loaded pallets. So it's ready for me to weigh uh, the, the skids that are coming off the truck. Paperwork matches. The uh, receiving system has all the information. The scale is set up at this point. Uh, during the time that I'm unloading coffee, I will be taking samples. I will need at least 250 grams of coffee to test the moisture of the coffee beans. Uh, what I'll do is write the information. We have this here to remind everyone of what goes on this ticket. The date the green beans that are being received, the lot number here, 6215C, the part number is 120007, uh, the, uh, the markings are here, 379, 1013 and the container number or the container number which is the FSCU 368292 and also the cargo number which is on the driver's paperwork the bill of lading 616, cargo number, 616984. Now, there's also uh, a number given to each uh, load or truckload of beans that comes in or each part number that comes in on a truck, which is a receiving number that is beside the bill of lading number that is Melita's uh, for Melita's record. The previous number was uh, 153, so I'd go consecutive to, consecutively. So this, the number for this receiving or receipt uh, of this truck, it will be one, 154. So basically that's the information that goes on, on the label for our sample. At this point, we're ready to receive the beans into the building. Each pallet is going to be weighed, uh, tagged, uh, samples will be taken, and uh, put into stock. <laughs> Pallets placed on a scale. In order to get a true weight forklift, is backed out. Press enter. It goes to remove pallet. The weight's been recorded. Once this pallet is removed, the system will return again to weigh loaded pallet for the next skid to be placed. When I push enter, at the scale and remove the pallet, a ticket was generated with that pallet's information. So now I'll check to make sure the right date, which is the 28th, uh, the type of coffee, all this matches, it's the first pallet, the uh, correct lot or contract number, uh, make sure that the container number matches with the information that I have here and on the bill of lading, uh, the markings, and now we also have the gross weight of that particular skid. This ticket will be applied to the pallet. Each pallet hat will have its individual ticket. And I will also take a sample of beans from that pallet. We have a poker, bag poker, which, has, which is open 
inside it, which will pierce the bag. Poke the bag, take a sample of beans, remove the poker, try to repair the hole, and we have the sample for that particular pallet. When the samples are done, uh, they want them to be mixed. to get a, an accurate reading for the moisture. This mixes Hey Bill, how are you sir? Okay. okay, once they're mixed, they go through the moisture analyzer, turn that on, make sure it's set up properly. We're going to be weighing out 250 grams of coffee. I push weigh, that zeroes the scale. Scale is zero now. I'm going to weigh out 250 grams of coffee. And that coffee goes here, which is previously weighed. I push test again. It calibrates it. It gives me a message that says load the cell. I push the button. The beans drop into the cell. I push test one more time. And after this time, I'll get the moisture reading. There's a moisture reading of 12.4%. 13% 12 uh, would be above the, uh, the norm. And I would have to report that to the receiving office. Actual moisture, 12.4%. Enter that. Our pallet weight, which is 1,518 pounds. At this point, receiving is complete. Turn this to the sample bag. There are 11 pallets on the trailer. We received 11 pallets. Uh, all the necessary information is here. So at this point, we're gonna print out the report. On our bill of lading, we'll put the fact it received the, the date, the number, which is 154. The date, 428. I can change to 17. This needs to be a 28. And a signature. We're going to complete the trailer inspection report. Everything was free of damage. Didn't show any signs of tampering. There was a failure on the trailer itself, which I reported to the receiving office, the receiving manager. There was light showing coming through the roof. Bill of lading, along with the receiving port, are both copied. We're done receiving, so now so we will push done. Copies of the trailer report and the bill of lading will go along with the receiving report. That'll be turned into Rena Hagenbottom. And these copies will go into our log here. It's our delivery orders and also our trailer inspections, copies kept here. And we're done.